many parents provide for their children. And they're providing, they're going out to work, and they're working hard day in and day out to provide for their kids food, shelter, uh, clothes. And they're working hard to make their kids happy. But these same parents that are working so hard, they come home late hours, like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, when their kids are already tucked into bed by, I don't know, maybe some babysitter, and time flies, and time moves on. And before you know it, your child is already 3 years old, 5 years old, 10 years old, 20 years old, you're like, where did the time go? When you look back and you say, wow, I really provided for my kid materialistically, but did I provide for them emotionally? Now, I know it's not easy. It's not easy to provide you know, emotionally all the time for our kids because we get so caught up with our work, especially in the world that we live in where it's so hard to get by where it's, you know, one person income is not enough and both the husband and the wife have to go to work. And yes, this applies to the husband and the wife where they get so caught up with work and then they come home and ready the kids are sleeping and time moves on. But just like we make a priority towards everything else in our lives that we don't get to catch up with, we have to make our children a priority because our kids are, are our greatest asset. In the end of the day, no one's going to look back and regret like, oh, I wish I would have made an extra buck. But you're going to look back and regret that you didn't spend more time with your kids Trust me, this time that you're spending with them is going to be so precious to them. It's going to be so memorable to them and to you. You go, Shabbat comes in and how many parents are so exhausted from all the work that they've been doing throughout the week and finally this is their opportunity to rest and the entire Shabbat they're just sleeping and they finally have the opportunity to spend time with their kids and they don't. At least spend time with them on Shabbat because you're finally home with them. I know a father who has seven kids and for every single child he devotes an hour of his time every single day. Undivided attention. For Reuven, he spends time with him on Sunday for an hour. For Shimon, he spends time with him on Monday, and then Sarah on Tuesday, and then Rachel on Wednesday, and so on and so forth. Every single child has an hour of their father's time. And he makes sure to invest because this is your greatest investment, your children. So yes, it is very praiseworthy and very noble to go out of your way to provide money for your kids. Yes, you have to provide for them physically. It's better to provide for your kids and provide for your family than other things on vacations. But you're providing for something great. But don't forget, providing doesn't end materialism with materialism and physicality. Now provide for them emotionally as well. Make them, make them a priority so that you know, one day you'll look back and say, wow, I provided for them physically, but I also made sure to provide for them emotionally. I was there by their side because there's nothing more that your child needs than you. Your child doesn't need anything else but you. He wants your heart. He wants your love. There's nothing else your child looks forward to. Yes, he wants uh, you to provide for them you know, physically with the clothes and everything, but... More than anything, what means the most to him is you sit by his side and you're present in his life. That's the greatest way to provide for your child.